So now we're going to go through the double slit. This is going to be a lecture with a lot of geometry again. So what are we talking about? We've actually talked about this. We've been talking about this experiment since like day two. Now we're going to talk about why it works. The geometry is going to get a little hairy, so hold on to your butts. But it's still the same principle that we're talking about, the difference in optical path length. So we have a laser, a pair of slits, and a screen. This is the setup. You've been seeing this in lab as well. Laser, pair of slits, and a screen. OK? So this is the setup. Again, I want to emphasize same dance. Difference in optical path length. So let's go and look at that path difference. So we have some of the laser light goes through the top slit, and some of it goes to this point up here. Some of it comes from the bottom slit, and also goes to this point up here. What's the difference? How much further does the bottom travel than the top? That's the question we're looking at. What's the extra distance? Well, if we look at it, OK, this top one travels about this far. The bottom one is going to have to go this extra little bit. right? And sort of swing it down. This bottom one's going to have to travel an extra little bit of distance to get to that point, because it starts further away. So you can see we're still already looking at those differences in path length. All right. So now I'm just coloring the, the two rays, red and purple. It's still all one green or whatever laser. I've just colored them red and purple so that we can talk about them to make it easier to talk about. Okay? Still one light. The rays are just colored for our convenience, not because of reality. And this green is the extra distance. All right, so now here comes the geometry. The angle theta is the angle from the center line to the point we're talking about. So here's my center line going from the middle of the whole kit and caboodle the angle from the center line to the point we're talking about is theta. There's also an angle for the top ray. I'm unimaginative and shall call it alpha because I'm boring. There's also an angle for the bottom ray, which we shall call beta. This will all get much prettier in like two slides. And if you have a look, this, you can see just on the picture, beta is a bigger angle than theta, and theta is a bigger, bigger angle than alpha. Right? The, these angles are different, and beta is the biggest. So again, beta is the angle for the bottom ray to the point we're talking about. Theta is the middle to the point we're talking about. Alpha is the top to the point we're talking about. All right, so now let's take this screen and move it. Move it back. So we've moved it back. And as we've moved it back, all the angles, you can see, as I move it back and forth, all the angles get smaller. All the angles get smaller. Moreover, all of the angles get closer together. Like when it's all short, beta is almost twice alpha. It's almost twice as big of an angle. When I stretch it all out, the angles all become, in addition to getting smaller, they all get closer together. They don't all get smaller at the same rate. So beta alpha, theta, they all become very, very close to the same angle. We're talking like one part in 10,000 here. Pretty small. So like I said, it gets much prettier. They're all so close together, throw them all together. Call them all the same thing. 
So all those angles come out to be the same. Now let's zoom in on just what's going on near the slits. Green, remember the big bold green line, this is my extra distance that the purple ray has to travel. More geometry. That angle turns out to be the same as all of these other angles. So that's theta, that. So this is theta, this is theta, this is theta, that is theta. If you're really good with your Euclid, you can go and prove it. That this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle all come out to be the same angle. If the distance between the two slits is d, then the extra distance is, that's a right angle, <clears throat> the extra distance over d is going to be sine theta. So the extra distance is going to be d sine theta. Delta is always extra distance over lambda. And so that gives us the delta for the double slit which I will put on your sheet, delta double slit is d sine theta over lambda. <laughs>